Murphy. This is a correction to the day three out of 90 in my SAT prep series. In day three out of 90, I said that I cubed was equal to uh, was equal to I. That is incorrect. I cubed is equal to negative I. Okay, so this video is going to be a correction on that. It'll be short and sweet. Um, that was wrong in day three out of 90, so this is a correction to that. I'll put it before the playlist and or before day three in the playlist as well as after day three in the playlist. I will also um, put that at the end of day three so that people can see this. So uh, I also pinned it in the comments section of day three, so it'll be at the top of the comments as well. So the problem was with I uh, to the power of three. I said that it was equal to I. That is incorrect. It is actually equal to negative I. Okay, so this video, I'm just going to quick correct that. Okay, so i to the zero power, obviously that, that is equal to one. Now i carried it to the first power. I got that correct, right? Everything else was correct in day three out of 90. It's just this i to the power of three that was incorrect. Okay, so that's just what I'm uh, correcting here, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the other values as well. Okay, so i to the first power, that is going to give me uh, neg the square root of negative one. Obviously, it'll also just equal i, right? Now i squared, i squared is going to be negative one. Okay, and then i to the uh, third power, obviously I just told you that's going to be negative i, um, and then i to the fourth power is going to be 1. Okay, so the other implication that that had then on that video that I was making is that when I talked about how you should know how i to the fifth, sixth, seventh, and so on um, are just going to equal uh, basically what they would mean uh, in these terms. So for example, um, i carried to, to the first power is the same as i carried to the fifth power, right? They're both going to equal that square root of negative 1, which is just equal to i. Okay, and then i to the sixth, obviously that, that's going to equal to um, i squared, which is negative one, right? And keep in mind that this is true, um, obviously, for as you go on. So for example, i squared equaling negative one, i to the sixth is going to equal negative one, i to the tenth is going to equal negative one, um, and so on. i to the fourteenth then would also equal negative one, okay, right? And then i to the seventh, obviously that then would also be negative i. So this is also correction for those things that continued on from that. Okay, so I also said that i to the seventh. Um, would equal i in that video, that is incorrect, okay, i to the seventh is going to equal negative i, okay, so I wanted to issue this correction to make sure that you weren't confused on that, um, I did make this mistake in day three out of 90 video, um, but I'm correcting it here, okay, keep in mind it was only um, with the i to the power of three, and then obviously the ramifications of that being i to the seventh as well, okay, so this right here is correct, so put this in your notes, um, just fix that i to the i cubed, and obviously so on with that as well. Okay, so obviously i to the 8th, that's going to equal 1 since i to the 4th is 1, right? If we had i to the 12th power, that would also equal 1. If we had i to the 16th power, that would also equal 1, um, and so on. So this is just me correcting that. Um, like I said, it'll be linked, um, obviously, before day 3 as well as after day 3 as well as at the end of day 3 to make sure that people see it. I also pinned it in the comment section, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, anytime I have a correction like this, I'll try to put a video out in that playlist. Um, so if you see that, just make sure to click on it before watching the video. Thank you.